Well, it's official. Daft Punk has sold out. Uh, this new drumless uh, Random Access Memories album doesn't need to exist. It doesn't need to be a thing. And Daft Punk is uh, their sellouts, officially. Okay, that's a pretty brash statement, but let's uh, talk a little bit of the history about why we've got to this point. Um, Post Random Access Memories in 2013 was Daft Punk's last album. And then back in February 2021, they officially retired or split up. And uh, and then after that, it got weird because um, once they split up, uh, their social started popping off. Uh, they started being more uh, present online and their Discord and their Twitter and their merch. They had more stuff coming out than ever before. Uh, and the fact that they even released the 10 year anniversary of Ram and now this drumless edition of Ram. Uh, like what is happening now that they're more active now than ever before that they've retired. Um, and there is a very good reason for that. It's uh, it's because the managers took over. It's because whatever team behind Daft Punk has been around for to help with marketing or whatever, uh, they they took over. They took the reins from Daft Punk, I'm sure with the approval of uh, Tomas and Guy, but uh, yeah, they, they took over and that's the reason you're seeing all of this. And so when I say Daft Punk is a sellout, I really don't say it's Daft Punk, I think it's their managerial team. And I kind of have an issue with this. To me, this isn't really the Daft Punk way. Uh, this isn't what they have been for so long and continued to be all throughout their career. They wore masks because they didn't want the publicity. They didn't want to do all these um, radio interviews and these video interviews and these tours. And they didn't they didn't want to do all that stuff a ton. They just wanted to make music to make music and do what they enjoyed. They they didn't love the publicity of it. They didn't like they didn't want the fame of it. And uh, going on social just was kind of not their thing. That's not what they did. They were so secretive. They were very like underground in that sense where they hid away in like a mini bunker for all of time. And that's just who they were. And it helped add to the kind of illusion that was Daft Punk. And uh, as a major fan of them, I, I loved it. And now I kind of, it's, it's sad for me to see that they're this active online now. It's a, it's a little disappointing. This is just not the Daft Punk way. I don't think there's a need for a drumless edition of Random Access Memories. I understand that it's for samples and people that make music and producers love that there's a drumless edition so that they can make the samples, but just release this underground. It doesn't need to be a Spotify album. It doesn't need to be on streaming platforms. Just release it to the public and say, here, go nuts at it. Um, that would be more of the quote unquote Daft Punk way to do things. I just, I'm, I just, it, it feels like it's a cash grab at this point. It feels like they're just trying to milk out of money and attention and and fandom of this Daft Punk IP, of this Daft Punk alias. And um, I just don't think that's the way that Guy and Tomas would want it. Even the 10 year anniversary edition, I like, that's just, that's not something they've ever really done. And if they have, it's been like a weird underground, like very niche way to do it. And very few people really got into things. I think of like kind of the Daft Club back in the days with some uh, remixes like that. But yeah, it just, it just feels, it doesn't feel genuine anymore. It doesn't feel like um, I'm really excited and listening to like Daft Punk. Like we didn't even get real songs from this. We got like demo tracks. And even though I love Infinity Repeating, it's a demo song that really wasn't meant to be released in one way or another. So again, I'm sure they got approval from Guy and Tomas to do it. Um, and if they didn't and they just have the rights and they just bought the rights to all their stuff, that would be really disappointing to hear. But um, like I'm yeah, I just, I don't feel like I, even though I love the song Infinity Repeating, I don't feel like I needed it. I didn't need to hear that track. It just wasn't meant for the final record. It wasn't meant to be on Random Access Memories. And um, you can just hear it in the way that they uh, talk about the tracks and they talk about the creation of stuff in the actual 10 year anniversary. Um, there's just, yeah, there's a certain aura and completeness to that record that was and is, and um, I think is a little tainted by all these Random Access reissues of stuff. And sadly, I think this is just the start of uh, a lot more to come, a lot more of this kind of weird reissuing of projects. I think once they're done milking all of Random Access Memories, you're going to get some discovery. I think they'll go back and try to change some of the opinion on Human After All that a lot of people had because they thought it was pretty mid and it definitely was by far Daft Punk's worst record. It doesn't make it a bad one. It just was their weakest. And um, yeah, I just think we're going to see more of this and I just don't want to. I love the like the secretiveness. I love the hidden allure of Daft Punk and how secretive they were and how special it was. It felt like something different. Um, going on tour was so special for them, which I sadly never got to see, but it was just like a, a one in a lifetime thing to go do and see. And just to see all these reissues just doesn't feel like Daft Punk anymore. But I don't know. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, are, do you like this new stuff? Do you like the drumless edition? Do you like the 10 year anniversary? Do you 
think uh, the Daft Punk team or managers are, are selling out or do you think this is um, this is healthy for the brand? Um, let me know what you think in any and all in the comments section below. But other than that, I'm Dakota from Brotide Media and I'll see you guys in another video.